Right guys, it's that time again, it's time for another review. So today I'm going to be reviewing a set of the Unicorn Joe Cullen Maestros in 23g. Lovely looking set of darts. Feel nice and relatively grippy. So let's go on with it, go and get some stats and dimensions etc. And then we'll take them to the board, see how we go. Right guys, we've got a nice close up look at the Unicorn Joe Cullen Maestros. There's 23 gram the model I chose to review because 21 gram is far too light for me unfortunately. They are 42.95. I'll just put this here, maybe it will focus up for me. As you can see if it decides it's going to focus, it's a nice ringed LP grip. Pretty much throughout the barrel minus this smooth section here which is for the Brandon Unicorn and then Joe Collins signature. It comes with the silver points like most Unicorn darts do. And the Unicorn stems and flights obviously. The length of these are 50.6. It's a really, really nice barrel. To all fairness, and it's 6.6mm wide. 90% tungsten of course. The grip level... I'd have to say a Three, maybe a three and a half by the time my fingertips was to heat up to throw in them on a scale to one to five but they're really nice I have to say unfortunately I couldn't find the gold ones I don't think you can get the ones in 23 gram anymore anyway but not a bad dart and I have to say it's a bit the review is going to be a bit different because he's now by sponsored by one mouth and with that lip there as well, the, the ideal set you could repoint with a wind mouth free flow or a storm point or something like that, just to eliminate the lip, obviously, on between the dart and the point. <coughs> a lot of people dislike this LP grip because they find it slippy. I have to say it's not too bad. From my standpoint as a rear gripper, it's nice to grip here. For the middle grippers, it's probably just as good and obviously from the front there's grip at the front as well there's probably more grip at the front and the rear where these ring sections are because they're separated with the cuts as well and then in the middle it's just it's like a nano grip finish really that's what it feels like it feels like the target nano grip but we'll take them to the board now guys have a wee throw and we'll see how we can get on with them Right guys, as usual, I'll do 12 from the rear, 12 from the middle, 12 from the front, and I'll talk through them as I throw. One hundred and fifteen. That was a cracking score for the first score. Just have to say, I feel the need to spin them. I don't know whether it's the grip, obviously, because it's like an LP grip, it's similar to nano grip that's making me want to do that. But they feel really nice to throw, smooth action, smooth off the fingers as well. So that was 115 for the first score. Let's see if we can top it. They seem to fly nice and straight as well, which is always a positive when it comes to throwing a dart, they seem to fly straight. 75 seconds score, definitely a really nice grip for any of you rear grippers out there if you haven't tried them already. It's a lovely kind of style, it's very similar to the Unicorn Neons that Darts Corner had on sale. I've done a review of those as well obviously. Final three with this rear grip guys, I have to say it is a really nice feeling grip. Six. Right, oh. We'll get into this middle grip now then. 
So if it wants to come into focus a wee bit, so I'll throw it from about here. It's not going to come into focus though, so I'll throw it from this rear section here. And obviously a quick twelve. It doesn't feel as grippy as the rear. It could just be obviously because there is no rings cut into it. But let us go. Twelve in the middle bit. Twenty-four. I do feel the need to have to spin them though, it's the only thing. I don't know whether it's just because obviously the style of grip or anything else, but I do feel the need to have to spin them. But that is obviously not a very good score. So this time I'll try it and throw them without spinning them, because obviously that's what I was doing. Same again, 24. <coughs> Definitely not as grippy in the middle section, no, in comparison to the rear. Forty-one. That's what nine. So final three with this middle grip then, guys. Here's first. Here's hoping for something decent. Seven, sixteen, thirty-six. And that was with the rear grip in there. I did feel the need to spin it quite often in there. It was the same with the rear. I did feel the need to spin them. But we'll move on to the front. I'm going to hold it about here for the front. We'll see how we go. Nice and grippy at the front, I have to say, it might suit you front grapples very well. Five. Obviously I'm not a front grapple so that doesn't feel right to me at all. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Nine with the front grip, I believe. Let's do a final three. And I'm just going to have a few throws for that rear grip again. Well, that's a bit better. 60. Nearly. Nearly. Just wired it on that treble. I had to, well, I can't speak. The grip will really suit a front gripper as well. If it lets me focus up, I don't think it will. But it's just the same as the grip at the rear, of course. Don't want to fiddle about too long and get it to not focus up. Yeah, it's really nice for the front grippers, obviously, just because it's that ring grip with the LP through it all the way down. The middle grip's just the LP finish. It's probably a level two grip, maybe one and a half compared to the comparison to these which is probably a three on a scale we want to five overall I'll have to give the entire dart maybe a three three and a half by the time I warm up a bit with them but I'm going to do another three with the rear and three with the middle just to so you can see the difference so I'll do the three through the middle first 54 72 just missed that double 80 54, 72 and so I'm going to do one final three with the rear and then we'll move on and get a wrap up 5 41 46 right guys let's go and we'll have a wee chat about these darts And that was my review of the Unicorn Maestro, Joe Cullens. I'm actually looking forward to the windmill launch as well because he's got a new set coming out. From what I've heard, they're meant to be really nice.
a nice focused look. Obviously there's a few dirty marks for when I've been practicing on the barrels, it's the only thing with this kind of style of grip, is it does catch any bits of dead skin and stuff like that, but it's so easy to clean. If you watch my video I did on how to clean them, they clean up so well. But overall, a really nice dart. Could be a good starting point for some players if money's not an issue, but if obviously for some of you guys that watch these it would be coming from Europe and stuff like that. But they're still really nice. Unicorn do make a fantastic dart, I just have to say. I'm not sure about the flights and stuff though. This is obviously a set I bought to practice with and I've kind of ruined them already. And the stems, it just pops off. Even when it's punched, it just pops off. And it's a bit fiddly to get back in, but they just pop right off. It's kind of strange. But, obviously I used Dink's flight and stem system for the review as well. I didn't use my own. Overall, cracking set of darts. Most people would change their points and stuff and your flight and stems anyway, so it's not really too bad on that front. <coughs> and obviously, as I said, without lip there as well, I'd rather see a storm point or a one mouth three, four point or something like that, because Unicorn don't do anything like that just yet. I'm assuming they will do in the future because everyone is doing it. And the grip is really, really nice, I just have to say. Especially for the rear grip, I loved it. Thrown from the rear grip. It just felt really nice and comfortable. The only thing when I threw them though is I felt the need to spin them. I don't know whether that's just because the grip or st anything like that. Because I found the same issue with the Mervyn Kings. I felt the need to spin before I released. But that was my review of the Unicorn Maestro. Joe Cullen darts in 23 gram, 90% tungsten. Such a fab set of darts, so I just have to say that. And the price is actually not too bad for them as well, I'm going to say 43 quid for them. Just cracking wee set. So, what I'm going to ask you guys to do, if you haven't already, is leave a like, subscribe to the, the channel, and tap that notification bell if you want to see any of my future videos when I upload them, rather than seeing it through a post on Facebook or Twitter, etc. So anyway guys, keep on darting. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.